Hello there, and welcome to a uh, new issue of the Indicator Spotlight. This is where we feature indicators from our NinjaTrader 8 library. Short video, usually about 10 minutes, uh, with an uh, explanation of the main indicator concept, the most important functions, and how you can use this in a uh, trading setup or a trading strategy, along, of course, with a download link uh, to the indicator that we're talking about. And this time around, uh, it's the Wilder Volatility Stop that was introduced by Wells Wilder in his book, uh, New Concepts in Technical Trading Systems. And we'll first talk about the general idea behind it and then uh, have a look at some additional options uh, that come with our version. As with the majority of uh, other trailing stops, it relies on a anchor point and that then serves as a reference price. Uh, specifically, this adds or subtracts a multiple of the uh, ATR, average true range, to the uh, significant close in order to calculate the stop. So a long stop is calculated by subtracting a multiple of the ATR from the significant close. And Wilder defines that as uh, the extreme favorable close price uh, reached while in a trade. And so during a bullish move, that means that the significant close is determined as the highest close since the beginning of the trend. When used with uh, time-based bars, uh, the indicator will adjust to the current market uh, environment, allowing for stop widening when the volatility increases and tightening when it decreases, that makes sense because uh, there's often uh, a decrease in volatility following a, a strong price move. Uh, but during uh, consolidation periods uh, where we have low volatility, the stop will tighten and sometimes prematurely trigger a exit or a trend change. So uh, in case you do not want to use this uh, widening option, uh, the uh, indicator comes with the option of activating the conventional trailing stop feature. And uh, when that is selected, uh, the stop uh, widening is not permitted and the uh, stop will only move in the direction of uh, the position as we see here. For a short scenario, um, it's the opposite. Uh, so you're finding uh, the stop level by adding a multiple of the ATR to the significant close. Again, according to Wilder, the extreme favorable close uh, price reached while in a trade. And so for a downtrend, uh, the significant close is uh, determined as the lowest close since the start of the trend. And here we see when used with uh, time-based bars, we have a 15-minute chart of the 6E Euro futures contract. Uh, the stop adjusts to increasing volatility here and uh, allowing for stop widening and then later on tightening here when the volatility decreases. Again, the uh, traditional trailing stop feature uh, can be activated. And here we see triggering uh, earlier exits here and here. And so the question is uh, whether you want to hang on and see if you uh, catch a major move or want to limit your risk getting in and out of the, the market uh, quicker than the trailing stop is, uh, is the way to go here. The indicator also comes with the option of uh, replacing Wilder's definition of the significant close with a Donchian anchor. Uh, it then refers to the uh, extreme favorable uh, close within the look back period, as opposed uh, to the trend start. And uh, for a, uh, a long stop, a uh, multiple of the ATR is then uh, subtracted from the highest close in the look back period. And by default, uh, this indicator applies a ATR multiple of three for a seven bar look back period. So that is what we see here, just the default settings. And again, we have the option 
of activating the traditional trading stop feature. And uh, of course, the stop will then only move in the direction of the position and the widening uh, is not allowed with the increase of volatility here. And that's a, a good idea to use it that way. Uh, this is a short uh, scenario for the Donchian anchor. Again, uh, adding a three multiple to the ATR for the lowest close in the seven bar look back period. As we see here, uh, continually accommodating a uh, stop uh, running counter trend wise and incurring significant losses. And therefore you should uh, really use uh, the Donchian anchor option uh, with a trailing stop option uh, activated. So not allowing uh, this widening here. It uh, doesn't really make any sense to use it uh, that way. So in conclusion, the uh, wilder volatility stop uh, has the following options. Uh, the significant close since the trend starts stop widening or the trailing stop option. And uh, as we saw here at the Donchian anchor, significant close in the look back period, uh, stop widening and trailing stop, definitely use it with, with this option here. Preliminary testing uh, show that these volatility stops do not really work very well in shorter timeframes because uh, prices deviate significantly from the normal distribution in shorter timeframes. So uh, we have uh, extreme movements uh, that occur too frequently and uh, trigger the stop too often, resulting in significant losses. Um, for shorter timeframes, if you decide to use it in that, you have to have um, a uh, larger multiplier of the ATR, higher than four is recommended here. Um, the multiplier proposed by Wilder is meant for use in higher time frames than 60 minutes or on uh, daily charts. For the uh, volatility stop, uh, the uh, widening option is uh, preferable um, for stop adjustments during periods of increasing volatility, uh, whereas uh, for the Donchian anchor, as I said, it's the other way around. Um, it's determined by the most favorable close in the look back period and should always be used with the trailing stop option activated. That pretty much uh, wraps up uh, this uh, indicator spotlight on the Wilder's volatility stop. You'll find that in the uh, trailing stop category here along with uh, a number of other uh, trailing stops. Uh, the chandelier stop, which is, uh, by the way, very similar to the uh, Donchian anchor that we showed here, just based on the highs and the lows of the look back period, not the significant close. Uh, we also have the uh, ATR trailing stop, uh, which we talked about in a previous spotlight. We have the high low activator, two versions of the super trend indicator here, as you see and a total of uh, 135, 140 indicators now for 150 bucks membership uh, fee. That's uh, a one-time payment for all of them, not a monthly fee. So pretty, pretty good deal here, I think, if you're looking for a really good solid resource on classical trading indicators and approaches to uh, trading. All right. So uh, with that, uh, time to wrap up uh, this uh, spotlight on the Wilder volatility stop. Really appreciate you taking the time and tuning in. Please leave me a comment on the video below here if you enjoyed it or give me some feedback with a thumbs up. Pass it on to a trading buddy on Facebook or via email. In the meantime, have a great week and I look forward to hearing from you sometime soon. Take care and bye-bye.